Unimolecular Diffusion, UMD from now on, is the second case I wanted to show you within molecular diffusion, especially fixed law applications to real life scenarios. And as the name implies, there is only one species, that is a one molecule, diffusing through a stagnant medium. Typical example will be evaporation of species A through B, which is stagnant. Stagnant meaning that it is not interacting. And I like to show always the example of the spill. Let's say that we have gasoline, which you know this is mostly an octane. And let's say that it will evaporate if we let it in the outside. This is the air, this is the atmosphere. And you know that mass transfer is going to occur because we have high concentration of gasoline, low concentration of gasoline. This is typical mass transfer case. But in this specific case, air is not diffusing through the pound or this is spill. So that's an important fact here. Uh, this is working in quasi steady state. And why do I say quasi? Because let's go to this example. Or in this very example, we know that gasoline will eventually get uh, smaller and smaller until it evaporates completely. So technically speaking, the height of the spill will change. In this example, it's more visible. We have a test tube with benzene and we let it evaporate within air. So you know, benzene will eventually evaporate. If we were to measure, we can say maybe 10 centimeters, and as time passes by, this will be time equals zero, as time passes by, let's say five minutes, there will be a, I don't know, now a distance is nine centimeters, meaning that we lost the height due to evaporation. We know that evaporation will take mass away. I say quasi steady state because we will be assuming these specific cases, single or instantaneous processes, because as time passes by, we know that most of mass transfer processes will be completed within certain times until they achieve equilibrium. And I have this analysis, of course, one dimension steady state equation, the total molar flux of A, which is total number of moles of A passing through a unit area per unit time, equals the molar flux of A due to molecular diffusion plus the molar flux of A due to the bulk velocity. So as you can imagine, there is bulk velocity per se, well, in this example, not that visible, but in a pipe, you could have a bulk velocity stronger. And we got this molar flux of A equals JA plus concentration of A times velocity. If we don't have concentration or velocity, we can change this to to molar fraction of A times the molar flux, total molar flux. In a binary case, you will have Na plus Nb. And we know that the molar composition of A is concentration of A divided by concentration and the total molar flux stated is here. We're going to substitute fixed law because we know that JA can be modeled with fixed law. So here we go, this is the JA value. And I'm going to, in this specific case, substitute for concentration because we are going to start analyzing concentrations. And because NB is stagnant, this is zero. So please do not confuse NA, NB negative, meaning that NA plus NB were equal to zero. In this specific case, we have a positive value of NA and we have a value of zero to NB. So way different. And as you can see, in this case, we have this part extra. So we can no longer assume that JA equals NA, as we have been doing with the EMD case. Okay, so this is not true. You can assume so if, let's say, the concentration of A is too low, let's say dilute, or if the molar flux is slow. This is our general equation, which we will be working with in UMD. So actually this is valid whenever you apply fixed law for any case, but for an stagnant medium, we just need to get rid of B and we get this part right here. Now we will work these cases mathematically to get equations ready to use for concentration, partial pressures and molar fractions. 
and that's what we're going to do in the following video.